Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. It's getting very interesting and very lively. In this video, I want us to have a look at a clip where Murko is badly being heckled and forced out of a podium in Baringo County. And those heckling Murkomen are also saying Ruto must go. That was in Baringo County, in the heart of the Kalenjin nation. Before we have a look at that clip, let me say this. William Ruto will go down in history as a one-term president. And I'm saying that because having looked at William Ruto, Ruto is overconfident. He assumes that the Mountain vote and the Kalenjin vote is already in his pocket. So come 2027, he assumes he will just do some top-ups across the country and then he adds the Kalenjin and the Mountain vote. That's the assumption William Ruto is making. And that's why I strongly believe Ruto will go down in history as a one-term president. That plan will fail badly. Before we dig deep into that analysis, let's have a look at this interesting clip of Murko men being forced out of the podium. More common. He has literally been forced out of the podium in that tournament. Even though I don't understand Kalenjin, you can just add the dots to see why those people are saying Ruto must go. The first reason why they were saying Ruto must go, Ruto has failed to deliver. He gave a lot of promises in the Kalenjin Rift Valley, which has failed to deliver. The cost of living is going up on a daily basis. William Ruto keeps giving new promises, promises which is not fulfilling. So that's why Murkomen was being told, Ruto must go. Ruto has failed to deliver. He lied to the Kalenjins and is not delivering. The second reason why Mukomen is being told Ruto must go, if you look at this William Ruto's foot soldiers, this leader supporting William Ruto, anytime they find themselves in such situations, they always invoke William Ruto's name. So I won't be wrong to assume that Mukomen, having found that ground hostile, he tried invoking William Ruto's name. And that just angered the people more, hence telling him Ruto must go. So in other words, the entire Kenya Kwanzaa government is unwanted in Baringo County. And that only means one thing. William Ruto is fast losing popularity amongst those who supported and voted for him. It's just one year. Just see on how the ground has become very hostile to William Ruto and his foot soldiers. Just one year. And this is why I strongly believe that if William Ruto does not do something, something urgently, to rectify the mess, then even William Ruto himself reaching 2027 as Kenya's president will be a miracle. We are seeing that the revolution is starting at the doorsteps of William Samoy Ruto in the Kalenjin Rift Valley. Revolution is starting there. And for those who can remember, I think last week, CS Energy, Davis Churchill, 
was also badly heckled and forced to cut short his speech in Bomet in front of William Ruto. And if you look at the sitting arrangement on that day, C.S. Churchill was sitting very close to William Ruto. But still, he was heckled and forced out of the podium. Let's remind ourselves of that video once more before we continue. Congo is missing. Uh, Your Excellency, the President, Magitaro Gutich, Chiaga Numbunen, Go Engalega Sitimog, Ke Amungi Gonegasinata, get negating and sorting, Congo missing. I call that the Kalenjin Revolution. We saw that her calling in Bomet, a CS was heckled, and we are now seeing another CS being heckled in Baringo. The Kalenjin Revolution and the revolution has just started in the Kalenjin nation. Will William Ruto overcome that kind of a revolution? The answer is a very big no. And I'm saying a very big no because if you look on how William Ruto is running the government, it's as if he is blind and deaf. He's not listening at all to what Kenyans on the ground are saying. Before Parliament passed the finance bill 2023, 93% of Kenyans across board were against that bill. William Ruto mobilized Parliament and some members of Parliament were even compromised and even bought. They passed that bill. Ruto knew that the ground was against that bill. 93% of Kenyans were against that bill. He mobilized parliament, bulldozed parliament. The bill was passed. As I talk, William Ruto has made over 41 trips to these foreign countries. Kenyans are telling William Ruto, Mr. President, these your many foreign trips are not helping us. William Ruto is deaf and blind. He still makes more and more. Kenyans are telling William Ruto, Mr. President, we are angry. The cost of living is just too, is too high for us. What is William Ruto doing? William Ruto is deaf and blind. And that's why I strongly believe he will not manage to contain the situation. Because he thinks the ground is okay. He, he thinks the ground is okay. People are hurting. Kenyans are suffering. But William Ruto is not hearing. He's not seeing anything. He's not hearing anything. He's not seeing anything. The leaders who are surrounding him are actually misleading him that the ground is with him. That's why William Ruto will become a one-term president. He thinks the ground is with him while the ground left him long time ago. Ruto has no option but to prepare to go home come 2027 if he will be lucky to reach that 2027. He should not start bringing Kenyans a lot of trouble. We don't want war in our country. William Ruto should prepare to go home in peace come 2027. Let me stop it there for now, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.